guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am prepping another crushed ammonite. So in the first video I did I was meant to showcase two of the ammonites I found and how I was prepping them but I really underestimated how long it takes to prep these ammonites so I didn't want to overload you in one video and they do take me a few days to actually prep so it made more sense filming a second one or a third one I can't remember which one I'm on but this is the one that I found and I posted a video of it just finding this one I was in the hard hat and the boob tube and everyone thought I was you know on the beach naked and taking safety very seriously but just on my head um, that was an unfortunate filming mistake and I've noted it <laughs> but um so this is the one I found then and I've actually already flicked off some bits without you guys seeing it so this is the lovely piece I will link the video down below when I actually found it so you can see exactly what it looked like because if you look there's two pieces that are gonna slide off in a minute so I'll let you watch Ta-da! <laughs> so I just flicked them off using my scalpel. So this is what we're dealing with. So as you can see, you can literally see the ribs under the rock here. So this bit should flick off quite easily or quite nice. Famous last words. It might be horrendous, but this is what it looks like. So once I flick that bit off, I can then put a nice coat of Paraloid on it and touch wood it'll be fine. I touched a piece of wood there, but I just realised you guys can't see that. So um, yeah, I really like this piece because it almost looks golden. Um, I don't know if my camera will pick that up, but I think it'll look really nice with kind of like a shine on it with the Paraloid. So I'm going to prep this a little bit. I'll get, I'll move my camera so you can watch me do it, where I'll either take the rock off the fossil or the fossil from the rock. We will see, hopefully the, the first one. But um, yeah, let's do it. So let me just move that up, there, there it is. So you can see this shell is all exposed and then you can see the ribbing underneath the rock here. So I just need to flick off the layers here and then add some Paraloid. So this one should be a quick prep, I think, because I think these will flick off quite easily, but they may be my famous last words. So we will see. Okay, so this ammonite is cleaning up a lot easier than the other ones I've been doing. And it is actually a different species. I have forgotten the name of it, but I'll try and remember it and I'll put it in the description box below if you'd like to know what it actually is. But I've just noticed, so this is what it's looking like currently. So as you can see, I don't know, is it going to focus on it? Maybe. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like. So I haven't quite managed to get all the rock right from the edge of the ammonite, but I feel like there's a high chance I will ruin the look of it if I try and, you know, move this edge back a little bit. I don't know what you guys think, but that's what it looks like currently. But I did just notice, look down here. So I hope it picks up. So you can see this well here, and then look, there's some shell there. I wonder if this ammonite is actually bigger by another well um, and I just can't see it and I kind of want to know if I'm correct but that means potentially ruining this ammonite <laughs> so I'm going to try I'm going to flick off this bit here and see if there's another well underneath it and if there's not we're just going to have to flick off the entire layer over all of it and pray this stays intact that's my plan anyway, so I thought I would update you guys before I just do it um, to try and show you what I meant by, you can literally, I think it is so you look in between my fingers there, so you've got this well here and then there's literally some shell exposed there I think it's another well, but then I can't see any ribbing being, you know, pushing through the shape of the rock, so Dilemma Thank you. 
So this one has been a lot easier to prep than the other two I did. Um, so I'm really happy with how it's turned out. So I don't, I think I was wrong. I don't think that is another whirl. I think it's actually a tiny ammonite. Um, the closer I look, the more I can see this kind of little swirl to it. So because there's so many other little ammonites dotted around it, I don't know if you guys can see them here. And then there's another one here like that. I'm guessing it's one of those because there is no ribs coming through like you saw before I flicked off the stone. So I think I'm gonna play it safe and not remove the stone. I think less is more in this case, but I did remove a bit more from the edge here and I think it doesn't look too messy. Um, I could definitely clean up my technique a little bit, I think, but all in all, I think that looks amazing, to be honest. So with the paraloid on top, just to help preserve it, I think it will also bring out the color in it a bit more. So we're at this stage. So I'm gonna go put together some paraloid and we can put it on together. Probably won't be today because I think the paraloid is gonna probably need overnight to dissolve. So I'm gonna make it up tonight and then have a look tomorrow and Fingers crossed it'll be ready because I'm so excited to see these ones done. I'm now ready to put some paraloid on this one. So I'm really happy how it's turned out. There's no excess rock on it whatsoever. This one was really crushed. So it's very, very flat, but I think it's still got quite a lot of lovely detailing on it. Um, I will give you a proper shot of it on the table before I put the paraloid on, just so you can get that before shot in case all goes wrong. But um, I thought I'd show you it here. So I'm excited to see how this one looks because I wanted to see what the colours look like when they've got a bit of shine to them. So I made the Paraloid Solution last night and it seems ready to go in this lovely little jar of mine. So it's all nice and liquid, it's not too gluey so hopefully it's that sort of perfect middle ground as a consolidant. Um, consolidate, I don't really know how to pronounce words but we'll go with that. Um, but I have done a test run on these lovely fragments. You might have seen them in my last week's uh, Fossil Friday. Um, but it looks like it's done the trick. And this the, this fragment has beautiful colouring in it. And it's it's strong, like it's, it's thick, this world. Like imagine, just imagine how beautiful this piece would have been whole. Like un, unfragmented. It would have been beautiful. But I didn't get there in time, damn it. But yeah. So at least I've salvaged that fragment. Right, I'm gonna adjust my camera, you guys can have a look, and then we're gonna paint it. Okay, so here is the ammonite before. So it's really, really beautiful. It's a shame we're missing this outer bit here, but I mean, it's really something, because it still has all its center, and it looks like it had nodes. I know it's quite tricky when it's crushed. I did get told the species of this one, and I've completely forgotten it, but if I remember it, I'll put it in the description box once I remember it. So at some point, I will update this video with the, <laughs> with the species name, but for now, we'll just call it a female ammonite. But anyway, let's put some paraloid on it. So I'm just gonna open this. I'm gonna use quite a big brush, um, just because it's quite a flat, and big ammonite so I want to get as much on as possible and I'm just going to do one coat for now but I might come back and do another one if I think it's necessary
Wow, so I wasn't expecting such a drastic difference. I mean, look at the colours in that. The contrast between the grey and those sort of like browns and oranges, I think it's just gorgeous. So I'm pretty sure it's already dry. It is already dry, but I think I'm going to leave it to make sure it's fully soaked in um, for at least a few hours before I consider putting another coat on. But I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. But let me know if you think it needs another coat or whether one should be enough. But look at that. <laughs> I just love how it's turned out. And I like that I left it in such a big, big block. And there are these tiny ones here. I don't know whether to put a little bit of Paraloid on those, but I don't want it to look weird just having these like darker grey blobs. So let me know what you would do about that, but the actual, the big one looks beautiful. I am so happy with that. Okay, so that's today's video, but guys, I am so happy with this. It literally looks like amber. Like, <laughs> I know it's not amber, but you, that sort of colouring is like, it's so rich. <laughs> I think that is just, it's just gorgeous. And I the shine on it as well, like, it just really catches. Like, that is a beautiful piece now. And it, it, it's so much more rewarding knowing that I prepped it and, like, I did that. <laughs> you know, it's finding it is one thing, but making it look like a really nice house piece is just another, like, look at that. <laughs> wow. Very, very chuffed with that. Very, very chuffed indeed. So... That is today's video. I really do hope you enjoyed this and found it useful maybe if you're thinking about you using Paraloid on crushed ammonite specimens. Well, that was a very specific thing to say. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video at least. Please like and subscribe if you did. Let me know what you think of how it turned out and if there's anything I could do differently. And also what videos you'd like to see, like suggest stuff. I will happily add it to my list. But thank you so much for watching. My Instagram is down below if you'd like to see pictures of this stuff and this stuff. Um, but also just to yeah follow along with what I'm doing. But thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.